What's up guys, it's Andrew from Softmodern and today I'm going to be showing you how to update your Bria GPE HTC One to Android 4.4.3. Now we're going to be doing this by reinstalling the stock recovery and then flashing it. And by doing this we're not going to lose any data or lose root, you're just going to re-enable it afterwards. So to get started we're going to need to install the stock recovery and that's just because the the official OCA comes with a system checker that will stop the installation if you do not have that stock recovery or if you modded your system in any way. So after you have that downloaded, make sure you have USB debugging enabled on your device and plug it into your computer using a USB 2.0 cable and make sure that it's in a USB 2.0 port. After you're plugging your one to your computer, go ahead and open up Terminal or Command Prompt depending if you're using OS X or Windows and then flash your recovery. So the first thing that I want to do is open up Fastboot. So to do that, just type in ADB reboot bootloader, hit enter, and wait for your device to restart. Now that it's restarted, you go ahead and flash the recovery. So to do that, type Fastboot flash recovery, and then the location of the recovery that you downloaded. So mine's on my desktop, so I'll type in desktop slash dot GP recovery dot image, hit enter and let fastboot flash it. Once it's done flashing, erase the cache and then reboot. Now that your device is restarted, we go ahead and reboot it to fastboot to write the CID. So to do that, reboot it to fastboot mode. So that's ADB reboot boot loader. Hit enter. Now we can write the CID. So that's fastboot OEM write CID G O O G L 001. Hit enter. Now the CID will be on your device and we can reboot it one more time to start flashing the OTA. So that's, so that's fastboot reboot. So now your device should read as a stock GPE1 when you run the OTA. So go ahead and download it. The link to that will be in the full tutorial link in the description. So go ahead and download that to either to your computer or to your device itself and place it on the parent folder of your internal storage, meaning do not place it in a different folder, and then rename it to update.zip. You can see here in the Android manager that I have installed on my Mac that it's just named update.zip and it's there. And after you have that, go ahead and switch back into terminal and you could reboot into recovery by typing ADB reboot recovery. Okay, so now that you're in your recovery, all you have to do is hold the volume up button and press the power button to get the recovery menu. And then you're gonna wanna scroll down to apply from phone storage because that's where you added the update.zip. After you hit that, scroll down one to the zero with the forward slash, and then go down one more time to the update.zip. All right, so now my phone has finished flashing the OTA, so I'll just hit the um, power button to select Reboot System Now. Now that it's restarting, it'll update your firmware and your phone will restart after it updates the apps. And after it's finished restarting, we go ahead and reflash TWRP to give Super SU um, root access to your phone again. So now that my device has successfully been updated to Android 4.4.3, I go ahead and install TWRP to regain root access to it. So to do that, just go ahead and reboot your phone into Fastboot one more time. So that's ADB reboot boot loader. Hit enter and give your device a second to restart. After that, go ahead and download TWRP and place it on your desktop. The link to that will be in the tutorial as well. So mine is on my desktop and I didn't rename it, so I just have to type in Fast boot flash recovery desktop slash open recovery twrp m8 hit enter give it a second to write the recovery to your device and you're all set erase the cache one more time this all is in the erasing the cache isn't necessary I just do it to prevent any kind of boot loop from happening. After you do that, go ahead and reboot your device and you'll be all set. 
All right, so now your device has been successfully updated to Android 4.4.3, and you should have full root access to your device. You want to double check that. Just open up Super SU or any other kind of root app, and you'll be able to see that you get root access to it. Um, you can also download something like a root checker to make sure that it could check for root access to your device as well. There's not really many UI changes to this new version of Android. The only one that you could really notice is the dialer app has a new theme to it. And if you look in your settings app, you can see that the motion launch has been moved down a couple um, spots in the settings. But other than that, it's pretty much just stability and bug fixes. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial linked in the description and be sure to leave me a comment there if you have any other kind of questions about this process. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I hope you have a good one guys.